Hello everyone, my name is Carter Kirkable and welcome back to SBCN. In this episode, we will be sharing events here at Saddleback, highlighting men's soccer and lastly local news. Need help adding classes or have general registration questions for the spring 2025 semester? The Admissions and Records Office will be offering a drop-in registration assistance lab which started Monday, October 14th and goes through Tuesday, November 19th. New and returning students are welcome. Lab hours are on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 2 to 6 p.m. and Wednesday from 2 to 7 p.m. Admissions and Records staff are ready to assist you on the dates and times listed in the Gateway Building, Room 158. Ladies in Film, are you looking for crew members or an exciting project to join? This is your chance. Join us on Thursday, October 24th at 12 p.m. on the Fine Arts Courtyard for a fantastic networking event, the Lo-Fi Networking Party. We hope to see you there. This week, we are going to focus on Saddleback men's soccer. Saddleback is in their second season as a team and have done well holding a record over 500. Last Friday, we were able to go see the Bobcats take on Santa Ana. After the game, we interviewed two players on the team to hear their stories. Check it out. We are out at the Saddleback College Field where we checked out men's soccer. Saddleback men's soccer got their second conference win on the season on Friday after a four-game stint. They are now at five wins on the season. We were able to interview two players on the team and we asked them about how they feel after their win, how they have been able to overcome obstacles during their career, and their aspirations in and out of soccer. My name is Ryan Mann and this is my second year at Saddleback College. I honestly, honestly couldn't feel any better. I mean, we were just on a tie streak, we couldn't get it together and then eventually something just clicked and we were just like, you know, it's time to flip the script and it, it just feels so relieving to finally start climbing out of the hole we dug ourselves in. Uh, my aspirations in and out of soccer is like, I want to I want to try and go as far as I can and see how talented I am at at soccer. I I really want to try and pursue this as my life, and it's just something that I've been fond of ever since I was a kid. And I just love the game and have so much passion and just want to make a career out of it. Yes, there has been many difficulties. Uh, one of my difficulties was. Um, was graduating from high school. I had a daughter at a very young age and was just not very good in school. And that very that determined me even harder to be better and as not just a person, but in my academics and really, really pick myself up as a person. Hi, my name is Andy and I'm a second year here at Saddleback. I feel really good. Um, we were on a pretty bad streak, uh, not, no wins in four games and I was able to help the team by scoring a goal that I practiced a thousand times. Yes, there have been difficulties in my career. I've dealt with a lot of injuries, and coming out of high school, I actually went to a four-year, but I didn't really like it, so I had to drop out. And when I dropped out, I actually got injured for six months, so I had nowhere to go. Yeah, so I would like to stay in Southern California. Um, San Diego State is probably my top school at the moment. Um, that would be probably where I would like to go. That was our look into men's soccer. Check in next time for our next sports highlight. The final score for men's soccer on Friday was 1-0 against Santa Ana. For the women, they also beat Santa Ana 2-0. Women's soccer also won on Tuesday against Orange Coast 2-1. For water polo, the men went 4-0 at Cuesta this last weekend winning by wide margins in all of their games. The women won on Saturday versus American River 15-2. On Friday, women's volleyball won in dominant fashion, winning three sets to zero against Cypress College. For football, Saddleback traveled to Palomar and lost in a close game 14-20. Make sure to go and support your Bobcats this week as there are multiple home games, soccer, volleyball, and football. 
Election season is right around the corner. If you are over the age of 18 and have registered to vote, make sure that your ballot is in at the correct time. Ballot drop-off locations are open. Voting centers will open for early in-person voting beginning on October 26th, and vote-by-mail ballots must be postmarked on or before Election Day and received by November 12th. Uncle Sam is counting on you. Make your voice heard. Go and vote. Thank you for tuning in to SBCN. My name is Carter Kirkhavel, and tune in next week for more Saddleback news, sports, and local news. I hope to see you out at some Saddleback sports events, such as volleyball, football, and soccer. See you next time.